Okay, this is going to be part two of gluing the frames. I think we've got all of the kinks worked out of the process, so I hope this goes smoothly. All right. So all of the frames have been sanded, again, lightly sanded the ends, and we've pre-drilled our holes this time, so I don't waste epoxy. I've put the gussets on and I've marked the ends so I'll know where to stop putting my glue on. Because that's one of the problems I used too much the last time. And so we've got our ratios correct. This is a three, right? So I think I'm going to do one and a half, or two and a half. Let's see what that looks like first. Uh, the first time we did this, it had a really good mayonnaise texture to it. So we're going to try to repeat that. Okay, do it from your camera. Turn this off. So right now. Does that look like mayonnaise? Too runny? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's a little runny though. A little bit more. A little thicker. Maybe another half a cup. Half a scoop. That'll get the edges good. Epoxy work is not fast. It's detailed, meticulous. I think pretty rewarding. You can do some great things with epoxy that you couldn't do with typical construction. Uh, that first frame, it's been about an hour and a half and it's, it's basically set up, it's almost dry. Alright, let's see what that looks like. So, good texture. Put it close to the camera, let's see. Like a nice mayonnaise. Got the edges pretty good. And so this is three scoops, so for the larger one, we said we're going to do three, all right? So, put down. Again, everything is pretty smooth. This has all been sealed with epoxy before, so it's got a really good, uh, I don't know, not texture, but yeah, it's like really smooth. It's like glass, basically, so doesn't take a lot of epoxy to um, you know get it wet out especially on those ends that have been epoxy before thank you Ray and the, the, the grain in this these first pieces man is beautiful I mean Wish you guys could see it. So that's that one. So put that on. And got our wood ready. Okay, I've got my lines drawn so I know where to stop. Put in the epoxy. Put a little more on. Over the seam here. It's done, right? Yep. Yeah. So, goes on like that. Now the plywood takes up a lot more because it's just the, the texture of the plywood. And especially this piece because, like I said in the last video, I did not wet out all the sides, so <laughs> this side is untreated. So we just go on extra thick to make sure we get pretty good adhesion coverage like so now this could be very deceptive it looks like there's not too much on here but you'll see once we put the pressure of the clamp on it it, it runs out like the dickens so we want to confirm our joint perfecto. 
put that on top. And uh, shimmy it down. Check my edges to make sure they're flush with the wood because the gusset doesn't matter. But you don't want it to overhang because that's just sanding you'll have to do later on. So we put four nails in on each side. We stay clear of the joint. No, come on right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Got that attached. Now we run that screw in. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See what happens when you work out all your kinks. So now, I'm going to do the bottom part. So we can actually turn it over. Go ahead and uh, put a piece yeah. of plywood on the bottom. Put my plywood on. I'm going to mark where to stop my glue. Yeah, this worked out well. This side has been wet out already, so it should be less than before. I try to do it in the way the grain runs initially, then come across the grain, clean up the excess, and there we go. A little shimmy, check my edges on the outside, a little good. Oh. All right, um, do me a favor, take your hammer, hit the loose ones in. Mm -hmm. Let me get it. Okay. This turned out really well. I almost think this is two and a half, not three. Cover up that screw hole a couple times. Sorry for the camera jumping, but... <laughs> Perfecto. Alright, go ahead and mix up. Get another cup and use it. Uh-uh, don't use this one. It actually makes it kick off quicker. One? Yeah, just use another one. That one's two. Two right? Yep. So I'll just clean up the edges. I'll already mix this up. Another cup. Use the number one tool. Of course, the number one tool is your finger. Huh. 
pretty good day here. Put a little bead in the middle. That's an important place to keep water out. Looks good. Can't touch the camera to show you the back side yet. But initial wipe. Let's get all the epoxy off. Then I take a towel and I wipe it down because I don't want any epoxy build up on here. That's just more stuff to sand. So we wipe it off clean. show you what that looks like. Pretty clean. As Freddie Prinze would say, looking good. You know him? Uh -huh, Freddie Prinze. Where are you from? You're from Mexico, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is Ray, who's been working with me a couple months, who is the Carpenter Supreme. Turning into a pretty good boat, right? Yep. Yeah. Actually, he's now, when I met him, he was first working in carpentry, framing houses. Now he works, his day job is doing granite. And wouldn't you know it, working with epoxy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he started in the right place, working here with INI &I boats. So, we, how many scoops for you? One, two. Uh, two. I don't think we need that much actually. I think we're gonna need one and a half. One and a half. But you can't do half a meter in that pump. Oh. Taking my excess, just run it into any knots I see. Alright, the lines have been marked, so let's go ahead and put the epoxy on. How are your classes coming? Uh, November, I mean September 6th. They start up again? Mm hmm. So, do you think your English has gotten better? No, uh, I improved. <laughs> So back in the day they would steam and bend those wood pieces of boards 
Today, we we'll use industrial byproducts <laughs> to create our boats, which is actually kind of cool. It's like recycling. I mean, I don't think people make an epoxy just to make epoxy. Sure, the epoxy is being made as a residual from petroleum and uh, no big fan of oil but okay all right let me uh, make sure all right go ahead go ahead Oh. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. Did it stop? Okay. Now the only awkward part now is the last one we've got to nail off the table. So we slide the whole frame off. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure the front is good. Go ahead. Alright. Go ahead and uh, bring the camera around and show this. This was the end that didn't get wet out, so I'm just spreading the epoxy on. And that's it. That's how we do it. A little bit to fill the holes. Smooth. 
Have enough clamps? Yeah, we've got enough clamps. Yep, so then take clamps and epoxy is not like wood glue, you don't need extreme pressure, just enough. Look at that good squeeze out. Turn the fan off, so it's about 100 degrees in here. <laughs> Even though today is not that hot outside. There we go. Now you leave a little space in between your clamp and your layup, just so that you can. Uh, clean out the residual and we still got a lot left over <laughs> 